Blessed love and blessings way up you guys in this video we're going to be doing a fight breakdown well a knockout breakdown of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez how Teofimo Lopez was able to stop Richard Comey let's talk about it Go. Welcome to Welcome to Relay Boxing Blessed love and blessed day oh boxing world boxing nation fighting world fighting nation it's coach fighting this is real life boxing as I said in this video we're going to do a fight breakdown, well, a knockout breakdown of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez. The knockout that Teofimo Lopez was able to deliver on towards Richard Comey. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash on that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can be notified when all things are being uploaded on Real Life Boxing. I'm doing my shoe shine. Y'all know how it goes. Now, <clears throat> even though this fight was fairly short, I still want to do a fight breakdown Well, it's going to be a knockout breakdown because I feel like a lot of times um, us as boxing channels, we get caught up in talking about a lot of other things. Who's a side, um, you know, which 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 organization is putting on the best fights, this, 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 that and the third, a bunch of future fights. We get caught up in fights that I'm um, talking about fights that haven't happened, fights that are not happening. So, um. I like to do fight breakdowns of interesting fights. And like I said, even though this fight was pretty short, I feel like the knockout was pretty interesting because I caught this fight um, going pretty much this way. And I imagined the knockout happening exactly like this. Now, when I mean I'm talking about the knockout, I'm talking about the initial punch that started the whole thing, that, that started the beginning of the end for Richard Comey. The, um, the exchange of right hands. When I did my fight prediction, um, I spoke about Richard Comey um, in the mistakes that he makes when he's punching, leaving himself wide open, leaning his head too much um, on the center line, leaning his head too much in. Um, I spoke about these things in my fight prediction. And maybe those who um, didn't quite understand what I was saying, maybe now, you know what I'm saying, in this fight, you have a better understanding of what I was saying and why I picked Teofimo Lopez to win by knockout in this very same fashion. Now in the video, <clears throat> I didn't pick him to win in that fashion. I picked him to win by knockout, but I didn't specifically say exchanging right hands. But um, picturing the fight and imagining how the fight would go, that's exactly how I imagined the fight going. That's that's exactly how I imagined um, Teofimo Lopez stopping um, Richard Comey was in an exchange of right hands because I felt like it was something that would be easy to pick up for um for Teofimo Lopez and team and it's something to easily to um you know easily take advantage of and easily cap easily capitalize on and I felt like Teofimo Lopez would be more than able to do it and as we seen he was now um this is one of my most this is like one of my um most favorite type of knockouts you know what i'm saying i'm exchanging right hands we've seen um your Yur Niel, the ko dr dodicus he knocked out andrew tabidi in the world boxing super series the exact same way exchanging right hands tabidi throwing his right hand and leaving his head right on the line and leaning in in the KO doctor taking his head off the line, leading to his left and throwing his right hand down the pipe. He stretched Andrew Tabidi the same exact way. And um, a lot of knockouts happen this way. Actually, this is a very common, um, <laughs> this is very common for, get, for, for fighters to get knocked out this way or hurt by a punch this way. Um, just pay attention to it, you know, from now on when you watch boxing. Punches get hurt a lot or knocked out. This is very common in boxing, you know what I'm saying, to get caught exchanging right hands, um, who leans, who's who's a shorter, who's is more accurate, who takes the head off the line, and in this case, Teofimo Lopez, um, and it wasn't that Richard Comey, Richard Comey's right hand was was accurate, and it was coming right down the center, the center line too, but for the simple fact that Teofimo Lopez took his head off the line, you know what I mean? Because if you watch that in slow-mo, you see Richard Comey's, um, his hand going right past Teofimo Lopez's face. Very, he missed that punch by a very slight, slight, slight margin. You know what I'm saying? Maybe by like an inch. But if you look at that in slow-mo from their angle, I don't have the angle 
in this video you know what i'm saying trying not to show too much footage so i don't get a copyright strike but i'm just trying to show you guys um if you look at that from the angle that they had it on in slow motion you see richard comey's his right hand go right past Teofimo Lopez's head. You know what I mean? But Teofimo Lopez did exactly what he was supposed to do. Take his right head, take his head off the line a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just dip to your left a little bit and shoot that right hand right down the pipe. And Richard Comey's head was going to be right there. Um, and it was. You know what I'm saying? Exchanging right hands. One fighter takes the head off the line, which was um, Teofimo Lopez. Dips a little bit to his left. Same thing that um, Yoniel Dorikis did against Andrew Tabidi. Dips his head to the left and throws the right hand straight down the pipe. Um, rather than just leaving your head right there, you know what I'm saying, and throwing your right hand down the pipe. Um, and he said, and he 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 ain't, he ain't really. He set him up because he looked down first, but he acted like he was going to throw a jab. You know what I'm saying? He kind of fainted a little bit like he was going to come up with that up jab. Just a real very slight hesitation. And um, Richard Comey, of course, was going to counter his jab and come over the top with his jab with that right hand. And Richard Comey, of course, leans in with his head when he throws his right hand. And Teofimo Lopez did the smart thing, throwing a nice, powerful right hand right down the pipe while taking his head off the line. Um, one had to land and it was Teofimo Lopez's that land that landed um, and that started the onslaught which eventually led to the referee stopping the fight and Teofimo Lopez becoming the new IBF lightweight champion of the world so um, shout out to Teofimo Lopez for getting the job done um, <laughs> like I said this is exactly how I imagine this knockout going um <laughs> whether you guys want to believe me or not this is exactly how i imagined it going them exchanging right hands and and just like that because if you watch a cup if you watch um richard comey's past fights if you watch his fight with robert easter he got caught with the punch with the same exact punch by um by robert easter and in the and, and the reaction was the same too. It just didn't hurt him as bad. But he dropped down. Um, his legs did that dip, but he was able to get back up from it. I don't even think it was a knockdown, but his legs did that dip, and he was able to get back up and recover from that. But um, Robert Easter hit him with the exact same shot, and he did the same thing. Legs went out, but he bounced back up. But in this one, he couldn't bounce back up. He bounced back up. His equilibrium was still off. Was a hard shot. You know what I mean? You could tell it was a hard shot. By the way. His body reacted to it. You know what I mean? Um, Teofimo Lopez got some serious, serious um, punching power. And his punching power is world class because Richard Comey has been in there with um, world class fighters um, and was able to take their right hands. Like I said, um, that's common for Richard Comey. He gets hit with that right hand a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but he just couldn't take it just like i was watching the regis progray um interview and regis said the same thing richard comey gets gets hit with that shot a lot you know what i'm saying but he just wasn't able to take teofimo lopez's um shot so shout out to teofimo lopez for getting the job done and shout out to um to richard comey also you know what i mean for um for trying to be a warrior and and you know what i mean getting up he got up after he got rocked and um he tried to finish the fight on his feet he did finish the fight on his feet actually so um so shout out to Richard Comey for that. Um I want you guys to leave y'all 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 comments in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think about um these knockouts. Like I said, this is a real common knockout in boxing. Um exchanging the right hands. You guys tell me if um if there's any famous fights that you remember where a fighter got knocked out um exchanging right hands just off the top of your dome leave it in the comment section any famous fights or fights that you can remember with uh um fighters getting knocked out exchanging right hands or hurt um exchanging right hands because because like i said that's really common um also exchanging left hooks um common knockout you know what i'm saying or, or common to see a fighter get hurt exchanging left hooks same thing with the right hand really common in boxing to see this like i said um, the KO doctor stretched um, Andrew Tabidi the very same way, exchanging right hands. You know what I'm saying? So for all you young fighters out there, you know what I'm saying? You're throwing that right hand like that. Take your head off the line. You know what I'm saying? When you want to sit down on that right hand, take your head off the line. And you see you see that um, Teofimo Lopez, he was actually able to take his head off the line while throwing the right hand. And he still came back with the left hook. You know what I'm saying? The left hook... He, um. He, he missed with the left hook because 
um, Comey was already was already down and bouncing around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it it was nice that he was able to take his head off the line with the right hand and he came back with the hard left hook you know what i'm saying you're already dipping that way throwing the right hand so it's easy to come back with a hard left hook you know what i'm saying so that was nice to see um teofimo lopez actually you know what i'm saying was putting two hard punches together but um shout out to both fighters you guys tell me what y'all think about my knockout um breakdown until then keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times peace and one love so if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.